In just a couple of minutes, I'm going to tell you about three important camera settings that affect the exposure you make and ultimately the look and feel of your final image. Understanding them is so fundamental if you're into or about to get into photography. They aren't too hard to understand and when you do you can begin to take far more control over your shots and make your images a bit more creative. Taking a photo involves exposing light onto a sensor. Now in the old days of course that was camera film, but these days it's far more likely to be a digital camera sensor. The first setting we'll talk about is ISO. Now let's just accept that abbreviation for now and understand that ISO is a measurement of the sensitivity of the camera sensor. Put simply, the bigger the ISO setting, the number the more sensitive the sensor will be. Now you will need the sensor to be more sensitive in low light situations, so high ISO number for when it is a bit dark and there isn't much light, and on the other hand when it's bright and there's lots of light, the sensor doesn't need to be so sensitive, so for bright light that's a smaller ISO. OK, that's setting number one. And now the shutter speed. The shutter stops the light hitting the camera sensor, but it needs to be open to take a photo. The longer the shutter is open, the more light hits the sensor. Shutter speed is typically measured in fractions of a second. Short shutter speeds will freeze motion and long shutter speeds cause moving subjects to appear blurred. Now lastly, there is aperture. That's the opening of the lens that lets the light in. The size of the aperture is measured in a unit called f-stop. A small f number is a big aperture and a large number is a small aperture. Although that can be a bit confusing to begin with, the aperture can really affect how the final image looks too. If a small aperture is selected, then stuff will be far more in focus behind and in front of the point of focus. And if a wide aperture is used, then stuff appears far more blurred in front and behind the point of focus. So there you go. That's a really simple introduction for now. Three camera settings. The ISO, shutter speed and aperture. Now they all work in relation to each other. So if you alter one, you need to change another to let the same amount of light onto the sensor. So for any given exposure, there is going to be a number of combinations that let the same amount of light onto the sensor. So you can begin to see how this can help you become far more creative in your photography.